हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द साइंस क्लास दिस इज द फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ द चैप्टर सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस इन आर लास्ट क्लासेस वी लर्न अबाउट मैटर डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर्स फीचर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट मैटर्स एंड वी आल्सो लर्न हाउ द डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर्स आर इंटरचेंजेबल ऑन इधर रीटिंग और ऑन कूलिंग टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट सोल्यूट सॉल्वेंट एंड सोल्यूशन ओके लेट एस परफॉर्म वन एक्टिविटी टू अंडरस्टैंड दीज थ्री थ्री थिंग्स चिल्ड्रेन इफ वी टेक वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ शुगर एंड वी मिक्स इट विथ वन ग्लास ऑफ वाटर वी स्टायर इट वेल एंड लीव इट अनडिस्टर्ब फॉर सम टाइम After some time, we will observe that the sugar molecules are completely dissolved in water molecules. Understood? The sugar molecules are completely dissolved in water molecules. We will we will not see the sugar molecules on water molecules or on water surface. So, children. in this activity sugar is acting as a solute and water is acting as a solvent so when we take some sugar and dissolve it in water we get sweet solution yes if you taste this solution it will taste sweet understood so children solute plus solvent is equal to solution now let us see what is a solute what is a solvent and what is a solution children the solid which dissolve in a liquid is known as a solute in this activity sugar is a solute now the liquid in which a solid dissolve is known as a solvent the liquid in which a solid or a solute dissolve is known as a solvent in this activity water acts as a solvent got it and when a solute dissolves in a solvent we get solution we get a solution clear now children there are some solid materials which are easily dissolved in a solvent in a liquid they are known as soluble substances and there are some solid molecules or some solid substances which are not dissolved in a solvent or liquid they are known as in soluble substances salt sugar these are some soluble substances and chalk dust or sand these are some insoluble substances if you take some sand or some chalk dust and try to dissolve them in a glass of water if you stir them so many times but they will not dissolve in water the sand or the chalk dust will settle at the bottom of the water surface clear so children there are some substances which are soluble in water and known as soluble substances and the substances which are not soluble in any liquid are known as insoluble substances here i like to tell you one thing also if we increase the temperature of a solvent okay then we can dissolve more amount of solute in it got it so if you increase the temperature of a solvent some more amount of solute can dissolve in it suppose you take some cold water from the refrigerator 
and take uh, one glass of water you take cold water and two tablespoon of sugar you take and try to dissolve it in it children it will take more time to dissolve the sugar in cold water but if you will take some normal water okay and you try to dissolve two tablespoon of sugar in it it will dissolve in the normal water faster okay faster than that cold water if you heat that amount of water the solute that is the sugar dissolves more faster in it in that hot water so children if you increase the temperature of a solvent okay then more amount of solute can dissolve and takes less time understood means the solute can dissolve quickly in that hot water understood or hot solvent got it so children today we learnt about solute solvent and solution and we also see this activity okay children we can perform the activities in the school laboratory when the school will reopens understood i will perform all the activities and show you clear till then you will learn this chapter the whole chapter properly and try to understand i will give you question answers in my next class till then you stay safe and healthy and happy okay bye bye